morning everyone and welcome to Art with Miss Myra. This is Thursday, April 16th and I am really excited about the project that we're going to be doing today. Today is a day that um, I devote every Thursday to um, teen and adult day. Okay, And so what we're going to do today is a little bit more involved um, project. Um, it's it's something that um, is not hard or anything like that to do, but it's just a little bit more involved um, art project. And so I'm so glad that you all have joined me here um, today. And today the project that we are going to be doing is we are going to be doing a painting to inspire. Okay. And so the projects that you are the um, supplies that you're going to need for this project are you're going to need water paper, printer paper, or if you have a canvas, um, you can use a canvas. This would be a good time to use um, your canvas um, if you have one. Okay, you need, but you don't need one, you know, to do the project because you can still just do it on on regular paper. Um, but you need white paper. You need painter's tape, um, and we need watercolors. Um, and then at the end of our um, painting, when we get all of our painting done, um, and I, as you guys are doing your painting, I want you to be thinking about words that have significant meaning to you, words that inspire you, words that make you want to be a better person, okay? So those are the words, you know, that I want you guys to be thinking about as we're doing our painting, and that's what we're going to write in the um, spots when we lift up our pa painter's tape at all. I'm going to tip the um, phone down and stuff so you guys can see kind of what I mean. Um, I have already prepped my canvas, and I've already kind of started painting um, because I actually picked a, a pretty large canvas that I had on hand um, and that I wanted to utilize for this project um, because like I said this is a little bit more involved project and I, I just wanted that bigger area and stuff to cover so I'm gonna tip the camera down and we will get started okay so the first thing that I want you guys to do as always we've I've laid out all of my supplies and I am working on a canvas today um, that I had on hand and honestly, I can't even remember what size it is. Okay, <laughs> but it's it's kind of a larger canvas All right, so what we're going to do first is if and, and this is if you're working on a canvas or if you're working on paper But the first thing that we're going to want to do is we're going to want to take painters tape Just regular blue painters tape or if you have masking tape, you can use masking tape also um, but I like to use painter's tape and we're going to just start, uh, you know, tearing off sheets of our tape and laying them down and making kind of, um, you know, different shapes here, okay? So I want you to do that throughout your whole entire paper or your canvas. Um, you guys can see that I've done my whole thing and each one of these colors or each one of these spots, then I'm going to paint a different color and that's what I want you guys to do. So, as always, when we are working with um, uh, watercolor paints, 10 minutes before you start working with watercolor paints, um, you should drip a little, um, you know, a couple drops of water into your um, palette um, and each, into each of those individual um, paints to get the paints primed and then they are ready to go, all right? So you can see I just laid down some orange color there and all I'm going to do, I want this to be kind of muted colors. And so I just, I have a, a clean um, piece of toilet paper here and so after I lay down my color, I'm just going to kind of dab a little bit. I've dabbed pretty lightly and now I have kind of a more muted um, color, okay? And that is what I want, that is the effect that I want for this um, for this painting because uh, the focal point of this is going to be the words that we're going to draw on after we lift all of these blue pieces we're going to draw those words that inspire us and I want the words to be the focal point point not the paint okay the paint is more of kind of a uh, back, uh, a background or a, a subtle, uh, something subtle that is just kind of there that, like I said, I don't want the paint to be the things that stand out. So I'm going to, after all of my um, colors are laid down, 
I'm going to uh, go ahead and I'm going to, you know, dab them, <clears throat> excuse me, with my, uh, with my little piece of toilet paper, clean toilet paper. So I hope everyone is having a great day today. It is beautiful out. I want to say a special thank you to uh, Warren Abrahamson uh, from News Dakota who uh, did a story on me yesterday um, and that aired um, today um, and I will try to uh, uh, post that link so you guys can all see that story and see um, kind of what has inspired me um, to uh, be doing the art with Myra classes. So thank you Warren for doing that. Um, interview with me and stuff I sure appreciate it nice to work with you again <laughs> so I used to do weekly interviews with Warren years ago so when I worked at a, a different um, place okay so I just laid down my collar you can see I'm just going in and kind of dabbing my excess collar off and that's an effort to kind of make a more subtle hue a more subtle uh, you know coloration and this this project is actually going to go pretty quick because we're just we're not really very particular about how we're laying down our color we're not you know doing it in a specific way because like i said we're dabbing it afterwards so i'm going to grab another piece of uh, clean toilet paper here so I don't I'm not transferring a whole bunch of colors as I'm going along and this is why I picked a um, you know picked a canvas that I had on hand to, to do this painting because like I said I want this to be a, a kind of a large um, thing I want to showcase some of these words and I just want it to be something that I can hang in my house Like I said, I'm not being really particular of how I'm laying my color down here. I'm just kind of laying the color down and then blotting it kind of to make it more subtle. And then the fun part is when we take these, take the blue painter tapes off and start writing our words. You can either write words, you can write quotes, you can do, you know, whatever, whatever you would like. And I'm not doing wet on wet watercolor. I am just doing a dry painting on my on my um, canvas. That's how I'm getting a more subtle um, color. But you guys can do however you would like. And I'm going to demonstrate if you want to do a wet on wet, how you would do that. You would take a um, any kind of a foam brush, you know, a brush, or I have a dauber here, um, a paint dauber, and we just wet that down. And this is if we're going to do wet on wet, okay? And then I'm just going to wet my, my surface area of my next square, and I'm going to go ahead and get into the color. And then I'm just going to kind of lay my color down and let that let that run okay and that creates a whole different effect it's it's uh, also kind of a muted um thing you know but it's it's i don't know it's just kind of a it's kind of a different effect so we'll make this one a wet on wet so you guys can see what i'm talking about
But like I said, for the majority here and stuff of things that I'm going to be doing, the um, you know portions, the my segments here, my my little areas, I want to be doing just dry. So the canvas is dry. Um, the, my paints are wet, of course. So okay, so that's kind of a funky little one because we <laughs> I added some different colors in that, but whatever, it's all good, right? So. I have said this a ton of times, and if you've ever watched one of my uh, programs, and or maybe you were a former uh, student of mine, I always say that you know what what I think um, looks pretty and what you think looks pretty might be two different things. And if you are the one that's creating art, you should do what you think is beautiful and make that because that is what art is all about: is what you think is beautiful. And that's very important and stuff to to create things that you like and not worry about what other people like. Now I'm back. I'm going to do, like I said, this um, kind of muted coloration here and stuff. So I'm not, I'm not worried about, you know, how I'm laying on my color I'm just gonna lay on my color because I'm going to go in here with a um, little piece of toilet paper later and kind of blot this out so I'm not being really particular because like I said I'm gonna blot so we're not we're gonna lose we're not gonna see any of the lines I want to get a clean area here. And then I'm going to just start dabbing with my little piece of toilet paper. And you can kind of move around the, the paint to a certain extent with that. So I am going to dab a little bit here. Actually, that is kind of funky. I'm just going to, I'm going to dab that whole thing. That's kind of cool. Okay, and experiment with your with your stuff. I mean, if you're, if you, you know, art is about experimentation too. And you know, um, play around with your paints and, and decide, you know, what do you think looks cool. So now I'm kind of at the point and stuff where I've laid down all the paint that I'm going to. And I, I'm actually, I'm pretty happy with this. I'm pretty happy with the way this looks. Um, I will try to get a better shot of it here in a, in a little bit after we do a little bit of writing. Oh, I'm going to do one little touch up because I got a little water drop here. I am going to do, I'm going to fix that. Okay, so now comes the fun part, and this is the, the part, like I said at the beginning, I want you guys to be thinking about words to, that inspire you, words that meet are, you know, have some significance to you, um, and that, that's what we're going to write here. So, so now I'm going to start taking the, the tape off. And I'm just going to, I'm going to be really careful because my paint isn't all the way dry yet. But you are going to wait at home. You're going to wait until this is completely dry. You do not want to take this off before it's completely dry. But I'm going to, I'll be able to touch mine up a little bit. So I'm just going to show you guys what I want you to do. And then um, have you guys go from there. Yeah, I'm gonna have to do a little bit of touch up on this, but that's that's okay. I can do that. I've got I've got the supplies at home and stuff that I can I can do that. So I'm not gonna worry about that because it did bleed in some spots. So how I'm I'm gonna show you maybe what I mean by touch up. I'm going to just pull pull this. There's a little bit of saturation of color here on the edges. I'm gonna pull that back in. Actually, I can just do that with my brush. I'll just freehand it. If I was, um, if I had my ruler, I would lay my ruler down so I can get a really nice distinct line. But that is how you're going to. If you have any little little edges and stuff where the where the paint kind of, you know, uh, got underneath the tape, that's how you're going to fix them. Okay. 
you're going to just pull that saturation of color in on your on your shape and you know what like this one down here that's just gonna become part of the design I I meant to do that okay <laughs> does everybody believe that <laughs> I always say and stuff that that there are no mistakes they're only design elements right so well you guys get the idea and stuff that's how you're going to fix any little mistake or not not mistake but design element if you want to pull that saturation of that color inwards and try to make it kind of a straight line again you can do that or you can leave them be you know I mean it's it's up to you totally up to you it's very helpful though if you guys make sure that your tape is on really well all right so now what I'm going to do I've done some touch up here and stuff and I'm not going to worry today about any of the other stuff I'm gonna do that touch up later and what I'm going to start doing now is I'm going to take my black Sharpie and I want to start <clears throat> writing words in here that are inspiring to me. So on this one, you know, within the white, I'm going to write, be strong. And then I'm going to, I want all of my words to be you know, of course, readable, but I'm I'm going to kind of, um, like I wrote, you know, straight across here. Well, now I'm going to go up and down on this one. And I'm going to write love. Love is an inspiring word, right? And I'm going to write brave. And fear not. Okay, and I wrote be still up there. All right, so now... I want you guys to take a look at this. I'm going to hold it up. I realize it looks funny because I'm holding it up and, it, and the words are backwards. But this is our um, painting to inspire, okay? And like I said, I'm going to probably go around and I'm going to... Um, this I'm actually going to make just a part of the design, okay? The, but if I have a little spot like right here that's a little bit where the where the color ran underneath the um, the tape, I'm just gonna go in with my brush, with my wet brush and pull that color out, okay? So I'm not gonna worry about that and stuff. I'm going to fix those little boo-boos and stuff, but that is our painting to inspire and I hope that you guys all enjoyed doing that and I hope that you do one of these. Um, this one is gonna go up in my house someplace and I hope that you guys all had fun today. So, for tomorrow's show on uh, Friday, um, April 17th, we are going to actually, um, I told you guys and stuff uh, a couple weeks ago that I, because I am a fiber artist, um, I, I generally work with fiber, um, you know, so I'm a spinner and a knitter and a weaver, um, and I want to make uh, Fridays fun with fiber day. And the project that I announced uh, last Saturday, I am um, had a little bit of problem getting some of the supplies for that. So tomorrow is just going to be a fun day. Um, we are going to do a um, finger knitting um project and we're going to make fit, finger knitted um, minions okay and so if you have yellow yarn and blue yarn at home um, you will need that for tomorrow's project but we're going to learn how to knit on our fingers okay and we're gonna make a little um, minion a couple of little minions and um, we need googly eyes also if you have some of those but don't worry about it if you don't because I'll give you a substitution uh, for making the eyes and stuff if you don't have uh, googly eyes so 
Thank you all for joining me. I sure appreciate it. And I hope to see you back um, tomorrow at noontime for Art with Miss Myra. Thank you. Bye-bye.